Hello and welcome to another You School Me presentation. Today I'm going to show you how to convert audio file formats using iTunes. Now this is great if you imported a CD to your iTunes library using the AIF encoder and it's too big and they won't fit on your iPod or maybe you imported something as an MP3 and you want to use it in a Final Cut Pro movie project and you have to convert it to AIF for Final Cut to read it natively. So what I'm going to do is launch iTunes. Now at the time of this recording this is the most um, current version 8.1.1. If you want to make sure you're using um, the right version to follow along go to About iTunes and 8.1.1 but 8 point anything will be fine. So what I'm going to do is for this example there's a song by TI swagger like us that I want to use in a movie. Now if I click on the track and then I press command I it will get info on this track. Okay, So we can see that it's MPEG layer 3 which is MP3 and the bit rate is 320 kilobits a second. Tells us other things like the sample rate, how many times it's been played and what the format is. Now I want to convert this to AIF. Now, if I go to the advanced wi window, I can choose create AAC version. Um, again, this is very much like MP3, it's sort of Apple's equivalent. It's a little bit better in my humble opinion, but I don't want to convert it to that. So, what we have to do is go to iTunes and click on preferences. And then, under this section here, when you insert a CD, okay we click on import settings and here we choose what we want to import it as now I want to convert this to AIFF so I'm going to choose that encoder but if you wanted to convert an AIFF to MP3 you would choose MP3 then I click OK and OK again now when I go to advanced you can see that it says create AIFF version which is what I want to do so I'm going to click that so you can see it doesn't take long and there, just underneath it, it's created an AIFF version. I'm going to press Command I, and we can see here that it's an AIFF, and it's also 55 megabytes. I'm going to click Previous here. You can see the other one was 12 megabytes, so it's almost five times um, as big. Okay, but you can also see the bit rate is almost 1500, as opposed to 320. So. That is how you convert audio tracks in iTunes to different formats. I hope that was useful.